So, hi, sir. It's truly an honor to have you here with us. Your cricketing career is filled with tremendous success, having played the Indian Premier League for nine years with four different teams, as well as having impressive statistics in domestic cricket, with your first class average being a close, close to 50. So, I want to ask you that in the, in the midst of this success, in so much stardom, you had to miss an entire season of domestic cricket due to injury. So, I'm given to understand that during this time, you did a course on human biometrics and human biomechanics. So, how did this course actually help you overcome this situation and build up your mental re resilience in the game? See, uh, I'll, I'll just uh, rephrase you. Uh, there, I played at least uh, 10 seasons of IPL, first of all. And uh, the other thing, what uh, happened, like I never had... Because of injury, I left uh, a season, uh, you know. It was like I played so many seasons of Ranji Trophy and every season I was like, uh, I used to get injured, all right. And uh, two years or three years back, what happened, like, you know, I was, I was, uh, I decided to skip a season. I decided not to play one season and uh, I just thought, like, why not to do something which is, like, uh, much more relevant because uh, during this career, I... I, I think I realized like I'm not going to play for the country, but definitely if I'm going to do something relevant, it's going to definitely give me a, a kind of uh, uh, a direction where I have to uh, move after after playing cricket. So I decided to invest my whole uh, time uh, in in something which is uh, which looks to me very uh, you know uh, very great, and that was the human biomechanics course. Uh, but before that, uh, I uh, I finished my uh, online course, then I did human foundation course, and then I went to Kuwait to finish my biomechanics level one. And uh, last season when I played, that time I finished my uh, biomechanics specialist too. So what happened? I realized that the training what we people or I was doing, everybody does the same kind of uh, training, you know, in in, in cricket. But the results, what I I got, or or everybody was getting, like there were like there were a lot of injuries, uh, which uh, which we people get while playing cricket. So I used the, there is always a question which always used to come to my mind, like what why we we are getting injured again and again if we are doing training, if we are, and so there must be a reason why we are getting injured. So I decided to uh, finish my this course, and then I last year when I played my season, I could feel the difference. And then I keep uh, uh, telling people, uh, you know, that uh, uh, you have to train differently. So the training system is completely different. If you train, it, the, the, the whole thing is not the same like what we used to do. Like earlier we used to do, we used to train hard. And uh, now it's like we have to train smart. We have to train according to our capability, what kind of uh, role we are playing in cricket. So that kind of uh, idea and that kind of information I got after this course. Right. So, I think it's actually quite important that while people put so much emphasis on mental fitness, uh, on physical fitness and diet, they actually tend to ignore the importance of mental fitness, something which you haven't done and it's obviously worked out very well for you. So, now you see that so many individuals have so many different methods that they try to alleviate themselves of pressure, stress, and that's especially during tense situations. So, whenever you felt that you were in a tense situation or in a tight match, where the onus of winning or losing the match lies solely on you, what exactly do you do to try and overcome that and deal with that during the match itself? See, what I feel is when you are playing a game and when some tense situation comes in front of you, definitely, you know, there are times which you, uh, you have to uh, look two things. One is that if you... If you're not going to give 100%, definitely there will be a chance that the other team or the other person might win the battle. So, I always feel that you should always involve yourself as if there is nothing to lose. And the other thing what I feel sometimes, you know, what we people make a mistake that we try really hard. We try, we don't understand that what, what's our limit. You know, what's, we, we have to stay in our limits rather than trying something, uh, uh, you know, different. So, like I was a I was a medium fast bowler and I always tried that okay I I shouldn't be trying something like I shouldn't be trying to ball really fast so I developed those skills where I uh, whenever I used to face problem I always decided like okay during those time I have to try my uh, slow ones 
or some uh, or something what what is what 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 we should be uh, what what my what what the thing should suit me rather than uh, uh, other person so you have to stay in your limits you have to uh, uh, play the game as if there is nothing to lose at least the 100% uh, should come out from your uh, you know capabilities rather than it should be like okay you are just giving yourself but still you are not able to uh, get the results so you you should be involving too much you should be just uh, playing the game as if there is like uh, the 100% is there and the result should 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 matter to you right so there is always a chance that the uh, you know uh, uh, that result comes in your way yeah so i think it's actually quite important to stick to your strengths especially during tense situations because you never know what's going to happen to you and what's going to come at you and you're already so pressurized that if you go out of your comfort zone there's a higher chance you'll make mistakes so exactly exactly so now that there's so much competition and so much pressure even for us young sportsmen what advice would you give us to make us mentally ready for high level sports i mean you can have a uh, very close cricket matches where you need a uh, four runs of the last ball or five runs of the last throw your bowling this spell at the end so how do you how do how should we youngsters make ourselves ready to deal with these pressures see i think we have to uh, we have to analyze few things uh, before playing any any game that if you are in such a situation have you ever prepared yourself according to that situation so when we when we are practicing we have to make sure that our practice should be very realistic it shouldn't be like you know when we are practicing it shouldn't be like okay we have to go and bat we have to ball we have to field and then we come out from the net session it shouldn't be like this we have to uh, we have to dive into some kind of situation where if we fall in that situation during the match we we should be able to take out the best uh, performance and that's what uh, we should be doing i always feel that any youngster who is practicing right now should always remember that what kind of role he has to play during the game if there is a situation where he is playing a game and that kind of situation becomes very really tense how he has to put himself out from that kind of situation so you have to you have to uh, understand this thing that you know the, the old saying like you have to work hard it should be work smarter you have to work according to your ability you have to work smarter and you have to uh, realize this thing that you know that if you want to uh, if you want to apply the same formula what everybody is doing then definitely the result is not going to be the different so you have to apply something different and every person's formula is different so you have to realize that virat kohli's strength is not your strength you have to you are you are you are different and you have to practice in a different way so that the result should come out and you and you have to know when you are practicing that what kind of practice you need so i actually think that was very inspiring because it told us two key things firstly that when you practice in the nets or before a match you have to try and replicate the situation that you will be facing during a match and secondly because of so much high competition you should find key characteristics or key strengths that you have that make you stand out instead of blending in with the crowd so i honestly yeah. thank you so much it was really a pleasure having you with us and i sh- i'm sure that every viewer will learn a lot from your wise words so thank you so much thank you so much